Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how Apple makes your iPhone or MacBook? What really happens inside their secret factories where all the amazing technology comes to life? Today we're going to take a special behind-the-scenes look at Apple's secret factory. We'll see how the machines work, what the people do, and learn the secrets that make Apple products so unique. Curious to find out how your favorite devices are built? Stick around because we're about to dive in. If you enjoy exploring cool tech stories like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update. Let's jump right in. What makes Apple's factory different? Apple is one of the most well-known tech companies in the world, but unlike many other companies, Apple keeps a lot of its production secrets hidden. Their factories are not open for visitors, and very few people get to see what goes on inside. So, what makes Apple's factories so special? Well, Apple doesn't build all its products in one place. Instead, they work with many partner factories around the world, especially in countries like China. Even though these factories are run by other companies, Apple controls everything very closely, from the design and software to the quality of the final product. This means the factories must follow Apple's very high standards every step of the way. Inside these factories, thousands of workers and machines work side by side. They build millions of devices every year including iPhones, pads and MacBooks. The process uses advanced technology and machines for precision, but also careful handwork to make sure each device is perfect. Along the way, there are strict quality checks to catch any problems before the products are sent to customers. It's this mix of smart machines and skilled people that helps Apple create products millions of people love. The Secret Locations Apple's main factories are hidden in different parts of the world. Some of the biggest partners are companies like Foxconn and Pegatron, mostly in China. These factories are huge. Some are as big as small cities. You may have heard of Foxconn before because it is one of Apple's largest manufacturing partners. Apple spreads out its factories to keep production running smoothly and quickly. Having many factories also helps Apple avoid problems like natural disasters or political issues in one place. This way, if something happens in one factory, others can keep working. These factories are located in special industrial areas with very tight security. There are lots of cameras, guards, and restricted zones to make sure no secrets get out. People inside are not allowed to take pictures or share details, keeping Apple's work safe and private. This is how Apple protects its secret factory process. The factory layout, how it's organized. When you think of a factory, you might imagine a big room full of noisy machines. But Apple's factories are much more organized and clean, with different sections for different jobs. Each part of the factory focuses on a special task to help build your device perfectly. There are areas where tiny parts like chips, screens, and buttons are carefully put together. In another section, special rooms are used to make or coat the glass screens so they are strong and clear. Batteries get their own space too, where they are built with great care to make sure they are safe and work well. Quality control is a very important part of the factory. Here every piece is checked many times to make sure there are no mistakes. Finally, everything comes together in the last step called final assembly, where the device starts to look like the iPhone or MacBook, you know? In all these sections, highly trained workers and robots work side by side. The workers handle the delicate tasks that machines can't do yet, like placing tiny parts with great care. Robots help by doing heavy lifting or repeating the same action many times, making the whole process faster and safer. This teamwork helps Apple build high-quality devices every day. The high-tech machines inside Apple's factory. Apple's factories use some of the most advanced machines you can find anywhere in the world. These machines help make sure every device is built with great care and precision. Let's look at a few of the most important ones. First, there are precision robots. These robots act like super accurate helpers. They place tiny chips and parts with incredible skill. Some pieces are even smaller than a grain of rice. The robots work quickly but carefully, making sure not to make any mistakes. Next, Apple uses laser machines. 
These lasers cut and shape parts with perfect accuracy. They can cut metal or glass smoothly, which helps create the sleek and clean designs that Apple products are known for. Finally, after the devices are put together, automated testing machines check everything. These machines test screen brightness, battery performance, and how well buttons work. This automatic testing helps catch any problems early so only the best products reach customers. With these smart machines, Apple can build devices that look great, work perfectly, and meet their very high standards every time. The Role of Human Workers Even though Apple uses many robots and machines, human workers are still very important in their factories. Some parts need careful hand assembly or detailed checks that machines just can't do yet. Workers put together small parts like cameras, speakers, and circuit boards by hand. They also inspect each device closely to find tiny problems before the products leave the factory. Apple cares a lot about the safety and well-being of these workers. Over time, they have worked with their factory partners to improve working conditions and make the factory a safer and better place to work. Training is also a big part of this, so workers know how to do their jobs well and stay safe. This teamwork between people and machines helps Apple build high-quality devices while making sure workers are treated fairly and safely. It's a balance that helps keep everything running smoothly. How Apple Controls Quality Apple is well known for making high-quality products, and this quality begins right inside their factories. Every device goes through many careful checks while it's being built. First, workers look closely to spot any scratches or mistakes in how parts are put together. Then, the devices go through tests to make sure things like cameras, microphones, and speakers work properly. They even do stress tests to see how well the devices handle heat, drops, or pressure. If a device doesn't pass any of these tests, it is sent back to be fixed or sometimes thrown away. Apple wants to make sure that no faulty or broken products ever reach their customers. This attention to detail helps keep Apple's reputation for making reliable and well-made devices that people can trust. The Secret in the Design and Supply Chain One big reason Apple's factory stays secret is how they manage their designs and supply chain. Apple designs almost every part themselves or keeps a close eye on the suppliers they work with. For example, Apple creates its own chips like the well-known M1 and A-series processors. These chips give Apple devices their speed and power. While the actual chip making is done by partners like TSMC, Apple controls the design very carefully. By designing the parts themselves and managing the suppliers closely, Apple makes sure their devices are fast, work well, and stay special compared to others. This tight control helps Apple keep its products unique and high quality. The assembly process step by step. Let's break down the main steps of how an Apple device like an iPhone is made inside the factory. Step one, parts arrival. Many tiny parts come from different suppliers, things like chips, glass, metal frames, cameras, and batteries. Step two, initial assembly. Robots and workers start putting together circuit boards and chips carefully. Step three, screen preparation. The screens are cleaned, coated, and tested to make sure they work perfectly. Step four, battery assembly. Batteries are built with extra care and tested to make sure they don't overheat. Step five, final assembly. All the parts, the screen, battery, chips, cameras, are put together to make the full device Step 6. Software installation. The device gets its operating system installed and tested to work smoothly. Step 7. Quality testing. The finished device is checked carefully, testing buttons, cameras, and network connection. Step 8. Packaging. If the device passes all the tests, it is packed up and sent to stores or straight to customers. Apple's focus on environmental responsibility. Apple cares a lot about more than just making great products. They also want to protect the planet. Inside their factories, Apple uses clean energy like solar and wind power. They recycle materials and try hard to create less waste. Apple also asks their partner factories to follow strict rules to protect the environment. 
Many of these factories run their machines using green energy sources. By doing this, Apple is working toward a big goal, to have no harmful carbon emissions by the year 2030. This means they want to help fight climate change and make the world a cleaner place for everyone. How Apple Keeps Its Factory Secrets Apple keeps its factory secrets very safe with strict rules. Workers often have to sign agreements called NDAs, which means they can't talk about what they see or hear inside. The factories are also watched closely by security cameras and guards. Very few visitors or journalists are allowed inside. This secrecy helps Apple protect its product designs from other companies. It also keeps new product launches a surprise for everyone, making the moment special when Apple shows something new to the world. The future of Apple's factory. Apple is always working to make its factories better and smarter. In the future, their factories will probably have even more advanced robots and faster ways to put devices together. They will also find new methods to recycle materials to help the planet. We can expect things like more AI and smart computers helping with assembly, improved battery technology, and factories that use less energy and are kinder to the environment. Apple's secret factory keeps changing and growing to create the next generation of amazing gadgets. Final thoughts. So that was a quick look inside Apple's secret factory. It's really amazing to see how people's skills, smart machines, and careful checks all come together to build millions of devices every year. Apple works hard to make sure every iPhone and MacBook is made just right. What part surprised you the most about how Apple makes its products? I'd love to hear your thoughts, just drop a comment below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cool behind the scenes tech stories. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.